In tonight's climate and crisis, numerous efforts are underway right now to try and restore Northern California's decimated kelp forests. The kelp was destroyed by purple sea urchins over the last 10 years. But as NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. shows us, a group of unusual researchers is working to repopulate the ocean with their fiercest enemy. In the dark, mysterious ocean of Northern California comes the equivalent of nature's row of dominoes. It started in 2013 with a strange warming of ocean waters scientists called the warm blob. Almost immediately, sea stars began dying of a strange wasting disease. Vince Christian, a recreational diver in the Monterey Bay, noticed their disappearance. You would see them every single dive and then all of a sudden they were gone. As the sea stars disappeared, another creature spread rapidly, purple sea urchins. There became lots of them, and then you noticed the loss of the kelp forest. Without their natural predator, the sea star, purple urchins spread unchecked, wiping out kelp beds along the north coast, leaving barren undersea deserts in their wake. I got on social media, went to the diver groups and asked, telling, telling people about this crazy idea for a project I had. His project was Sunflower Star Laboratory, a community-based nonprofit organization to grow and study sunflower stars, the main predator of purple urchins. I cleaned out my garage in Pebble Beach and uh, rebuilt it as a laboratory. More recently, the group moved into a donated space in Moss Landing where it's attempting to raise sunflower stars. We have a full-scale aquaculture facility inside of these walls where we are recreating an ocean environment piece by piece in our lab. Inside the lab, researchers are growing microalgae to feed the sea stars. And in rows of tanks, 72 sunflower stars are now growing inch by inch. They range from being just about an inch across to the largest juvenile sunflower star in California under human care, Titan. So Titan at 15 months old is probably a good at least six inches across. As for the star's hunger for purple urchins. This is a juvenile purple urchin. You can see this urchin is getting inundated by the podia of the sea star as it moves it toward its mouth. It takes less than a minute for the juvenile urchin to disappear into Titan's mouth. Sunflower stars are incredibly important in kelp forest ecosystems because they eat urchins and they scare them. And by reintroducing the sunflower star, we help to conserve the vanishing kelp forests of our state. Before the wasting disease, an estimated six billion sunflower stars roamed California's oceans. The disease killed some five billion, leaving them critically endangered. We also lost their role in our ecosystem as predators of purple urchins. Ruvain Banks, a researcher who answered Christian's call, said the plan is to continue growing sunflower stars in the laboratory as well as other research facilities. The hope is to eventually release them back into the oceans and spark a rebound. We're on the vanguard of finding out the answers to questions like when should we outplant sunflower stars? How many should we outplant? What will their survivorship be? Christian, who's known as the star father, is encouraged by the community coming together for nature. This is the epitome of citizen science. Joe Rosado Jr. A lot of people who really care about something. NBC Bay Area News.